Hi guys, it's Wombats again. Second time today we are doing a stream and today on the second stream we are probably not surprisingly doing the new version of or the experimental version of ETS2 1.35. We're gonna have a look at what is new, talk a little bit about DirectX 11, one of the biggest changes to the game from from my perspective at least and we will have a look at the tons of new roads we have uh, as well as the um, new island we have because yes we do have a new island uh, probably not surprising to anyone really it is Sardinia uh, so it shouldn't surprise anyone really but um, we're gonna go there we're gonna haul around the island see what we have um, and of course we're gonna spend some time in Germany as well Germany has even this time gotten a lot of new uh, or remade cities roads a surprisingly large amount this time I've also looked around on some of my profiles all of them actually <coughs> and none of them works none zero nada not even my uh, long haul um, combo works which kind of disappointed me a little bit um, because that one was that one that, that, that one was made specifically to work under these circumstances um, possibly not that surprising there was one map that had to go and that was EAA but the um, combo still crashes so um, I'm gonna look into that and see if we can fix it um, don't really know why it's crashing because for this stream I'm not using DX11 I'm using DX9 this time um, if you want to know what DX11 does to or for your game have a look at my previous stream earlier today where we did ATS 1.35 experimental beta there I am using uh, DX11 but I wanted to use the X9 for this one to hopefully answer some of the questions that came up in the last stream and welcome Trika, Party, The Raven HD, Mr. Zambu, Mid The Badger 101, Tetsu and your Nan Poo Poo. Hi, welcome guys. Uh, it's almost 4 p.m. Central European time Thomas is back as well. Welcome back, Thomas. Um, and it is 4 p.m. CET. Express82 Logistics, welcome to you too. Let's have a look at the map to begin with. Uh, we are going to spend a fair amount of time hauling today. Uh, or on this stream. Because we have Sardinia. Yes. Yes finally and there's some really nice surprises here as well uh, i haven't really been on sardinia yet i just flew over it had a look at some of the uh, cities and some of the roads up here there's also a new road in france or two perhaps is that two roads or is it the same one it seems to be the same one uh, and then germany look at this Look at how much of Germany they have made changes to for 135. Uh, some minor changes here in Sweden as well. Uh, but other than that, this video is mainly going to focus on Germany, this road in France and of course Sardinia. Uh, Jornan Poo Poo, uh, possibly that the Sardinia mod is dead. Honestly, I'm not really sure it is. They have surprisingly enough covered all the major roads on Sardinia with this update. Uh, there are cities missing from uh, the um, 
Sardinia mod that could be added in. Uh, let's see what happens. And let's see what happens to Corsica later on. Uh, before we... <laughs> Welcome Platinum, I'm not your daddy. <laughs> Go to Red Tube or something like that if you want to talk to daddy. <laughs> Uh, I yeah this profile has completed 100% of the map so everything you see here that is gray is news in 1.35 uh, the badger this is the beta 1.35 it is the experimental beta and Corsica might be added in 1.36 uh, if not earlier I don't know let's see what happens uh, we have that and since we are on this page, uh, let's just quickly go through some of the other changes. We have the external contracts, which is World of Truck events. Now, since this is the experimental beta, I can't connect to World of Trucks. But uh, the current a uh, racing event to London this weekend is done using World of Trucks events. So that is where you find the... Um, external contracts there is also now the external market and the external market does for external contracts what cargo market does for freight market so uh, when we previously only had freight market where you can select different uh, combinations of um, trailers and cargos we then had the cargo market where you brought your own truck sorry your own trailer and did some hauling. Same thing with external contracts. They gave you combinations of cargo and trailers to do uh, World of Trucks uh, hauls with. And now with external market, we get World of Trucks cargos where we use our own trailers. Uh, other news here, garage purchases. Uh, this is an excellent time for me to show you how this really works. Even better than I could show you in the ATS video. Uh, garages, you don't have to drive to them or haul to them or be at the garage to buy them anymore. Uh, all you have to do is pull up the garage purchase map. And directly from here, you can purchase the garages. Now, I haven't been to Sardinia at all yet. I'm still able to buy the garage was here uh, so that is something you can do f um, I've seen different numbers I did some testing myself and I've been able to buy garages this way as long as I own at least three garages uh, someone reported that for them it required them to buy five garages before they could uh, do this and my guess is that they changed it from five garages to three garages. Could be that they lower it even further down to say one garage, or perhaps you don't have to own any garages at all before you start doing this, but who knows. Point is, you can buy garages now, even if you haven't been to the cities where the garages are. What else do we have? We have a couple of new um, let's see, I need my sheet, uh, cheat sheet. <laughs> uh, there is now uh, two new special transport routes, one in St. Petersburg and one in Finland. And also one in Plymouth, Verona, Toulouse, Krakow, and there's the Finnish one, Pori. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new places. Apparently that has changed as well because the reports I saw online said there were two new special transport routes, uh, probably added more uh, since the first um, version of the beta, the experimental beta. Uh, hi, Oryx, Oryx, welcome. Uh, let's see what else what else we have no new trucks we do however have some new trailer skins um, 
let's see, of course this wouldn't show us where it's where it when it became available. Uh, we have uh, these are not new. Well, there is a new skin for um, for the DAF trucks. Never mind that. Uh, there is also a new um, selectable spoiler for the Scania Streamline Highland cab, the old one. Um, that was about time. Let's have a look at the new trailers as well, because there are new trailers. That's not where I want to be. I want to be there. Svarsmüller. Ja, klar, das Svarsmüller habst das uh, slide post log trailer. Only as a single. But it's beautiful. Not much you can do with the configuration. That's just ugly. Uh, there's not much to it yet. Uh, but it's here and it's great and I love it. And it's slideable. Bogdak, welcome back. <laughs> uh, Oryx135 uh, do break trailer mods, confirmed already. Uh, <laughs> not all of them necessarily, but they do. Uh, they do um, break some of them. Uh, yes, I have. I haven't tested any, but I have verified that some of them doesn't don't work. They are listed as incompatible, of course. Um, but I've seen, uh, so they they will need to be changed in some way to work. Uh, but I've seen uh, a lot of people. Uh, complaining about both trucks obviously and trailers not working on the updated um, uh, 135 no surprise really especially if you then have a look at um, dx11 this is what i wanted to show you standard traders i think this is new right hct did we have these in 134 I don't think we did uh, if we did I do apologize but I can't remember seeing this before some of these were there but and possibly this one but the double version I'm not really sure I do not think we had these if we did I do apologize uh, but I wanted to show you this because I'm not <laughs> I don't think we had them uh, and the same goes for container carriers HTT variants as well uh, not that much configuration to do on that uh, and then yeah this one as well awesome i can't wait to use this one i really really look forward to it yes yes even better <laughs> uh, so there's that but um what else what else what else yeah let's get on out here to the trailer and truck and i'm gonna press f7 and then I'm going to press enter to view services and adjustments. There are changes here, as you can see. We have the regular tow to service and dismiss trailer, as we've always had. But we also have emergency refueling and adjust trailer. I was pretty sure I could adjust the Schwarzmüller trailer. Apparently, I can't. Uh, but when you can adjust the trailer, it is all about... Uh, at least for trailers like this to uh, change the size of the trailer to allow you to take different types of um, uh, cargo uh, so unfortunately I can't show you that with using this trailer uh, maybe later when we switch trailers uh, 
we are going to go to southern Italy because that's where I want to start. I want to start here in on Sardinia, of course. <laughs> Uh, Alex, New Cities, uh, that would be these three. Uh, the road here and this part here, that's not New Cities, that's just new roads and new scenery. And that is about the changes we have for 135 on the map. Uh, but let's go to Cagliari and start there. I am using DX9 this time. I used DX11 earlier this morning uh, when I demoed the uh, ATS version. Uh, so I wanted to try using DX9 this time to answer a couple of questions that came up. Uh, and I also want to see how DX9 um, affects frame rates. Uh, it seems to be almost the same as earlier. Uh, never mind that, this is Cagliari, one of the three new cities on Corsica. Uh, Bognac, the Sardinia map, two things could happen. One could be that they simply overwrite the new Sardinia by SCS. I certainly hope they don't do that. Uh, the other thing that could happen is that they add the two cities that they had on their map onto uh, SCS versions, version of the map. Um, the Sardinia map had one city over here and then another one over here somewhere. Cagliari I think it was also Olbia and Cesare. So uh, at least two cities that they had that isn't available here. They could add those. They also probably had some roads that SCS doesn't have in their version. They could merge them. Uh, that would of course take some time. Uh, but I'm quite happy with the, at least looking at the map here of what we have. So let's haul Let's go, uh, let's see if we can find some cargo to Cesare and Olbia to start with. Of course, then I have to check the cargo market. Please, please, please let me have, oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, that one is the Cagliari, that's boring. Let's take the large tubes. The game is also a little dark as you can see, it's not usually this dark inside a cab. Um, some kind of an issue with DirectX 11. Uh, my entire PC uh, became darker on screen uh, when I updated to uh, 135. So I'm not talking about just in-game, I'm talking all the time uh, after I've played on ATS. If I restart my computer it's back to normal again, uh, but once I've been in the game I have to restart to get rid of this horrible darkness. So we still have some of that darkness because I haven't restarted my PC since I uh, hauled on ATS earlier today. It's a little dark inside the cockpit, but um, never mind that. The Sardinia guys are not that active. I think they've been waiting to see what happens with um, SCS Sardinia, I think. Um, but sure, they haven't been uh, very active. They, were, they had big plans, adding uh, Corsica, for instance, uh, didn't happen. Uh, but I can tell you that something will happen with Corsica uh, later this year. 
Also, even though I am on DX9 right now, my NVIDIA inspector settings are all gone. Uh, I didn't have time to go into why. Um, but as you can see, the game looks absolutely horrible right now. And there's absolutely nothing I will do to uh, <laughs> to fix that right now because I want to show you Sardinia instead. I will publish a um, better video of Corsica uh, ASAP uh, because this doesn't look that good. Uh, there is possibly one thing I could do, come to think of it. Um, And we're going to do that as well. And we're going to do that. And the game is probably, possibly, perhaps going to crash. No, it didn't. Fantastic. Let's continue. No, Bengal won't be happy. Um, Bengal won't be happy. <laughs> it's... I kid you not, it feels like it's even darker. Um, well, it's still the experimental beta, so I really don't care about the NVIDIA inspector for now. Um, just play it cool. It's it's fine. It's going to be okay. And I'm going to make one more change because now it feels like I need to up that even further. Show my settings for the wheel. Uh, they're the same on 134 as they were on 134 as they were on 134. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry for your PC there, Porte. <laughs> uh, well, uh, my one great thing about DX11 is that right now I only have 45 frames per second and I know that I would have 60 on the X11 um, but since I'm recording this uh, note to self I'm doing 45 frames per second right now let's switch to the X11 later tonight and see what frame rate we get then Uh, reptile, uh, we can do that. Uh, let me just pick up my cargo first. Uh, speaking of settings, uh, there are some new physics settings. Uh, and it's, it's basically the same settings that we had uh, that was introduced for um, 134. You had to set them in the console. And now it is actual settings in the settings menu that you can change, which is great. Uh, another really, really important difference between those settings on 134 and on 135 is that the cab now uses a four-point suspension. On 134 it was just one point suspension and now it's four points so that is a major difference. Uh, yes hardcore ooh and I can confirm that my racer keyboard only flashes blue when I get a speeding ticket on ETS, where is it on ATS flashes blue and red? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'll show you the map as well, Parody. Just give me a few uh, seconds here to pick up my cargo first. Using the new Schwarzmüller um, trailer. Hi, Extremer. Welcome. Uh, to start with, we are on Corsica. No, we are not. We are absolutely not on Corsica. We are on Sardinia, for those of you who missed the beginning of this stream. There are some pretty badass trailers for those of us who enjoy hauling in Finland. Let's see now. Uh, there we have it. We're going to take that one. That's a new one, I think. Let's have a look. That looked like new cargo. Yeah, isn't that new cargo? Those train um, wheelie things there. Oh, that's horrible. Really horrible. Uh, anyway, <laughs> almost saved it. That gotta be new cargo. Uh, bang on! <laughs> Welcome. Um, let's see what we have. Got a new 5-1 system, congratulations. I stopped answering your question, Hardcore. Uh, uh, yeah, I was about to say that DX11 will make a huge improvement on, um, on your uh, frame rate. That's, that's what I was going to say. Let's have a look at the map. I promised you that. And here it is, the beautiful, beautiful Sardinia. We're going to have a lot of fun here today. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun in France, have some wine perhaps, and then move over to beer and Germany. Have a look at the new roads here, the updated refurbished, no it's not refurbished, uh, well updated Germany. Before we do, let's get back into settings. Uh, there is a couple of things we're gonna have a look at. Let's start with controls. So um, that's it, simple as that. So there's my, <laughs> there's my uh, wheel settings. There's really nothing to it. Uh, it's not really what I wanted to show you. It is this color feedback for those of us who have racer keyboards and ra racer mouse mice as well. Fantastic. <laughs> um, have a look at SCS uh, blog they have released a video of, of what that looks like it's it's something you will enjoy for at least two minutes <laughs> uh, Toby uh, eye tracking um, uh, what uh, uh, I'm reading up on messages. Uh, what day is the new update? Still in place. Said uh, the experimental beta is available right now. <laughs> oh, perfect, Bogdak. You sent Bang a message about me to Bang An. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, Party DX11 will definitely improve FPS, that's absolutely for sure. Well, uh, this setting is for eye tracking, and this is the link to Toby Gaming. Go figure. Uh, 
you can download the beta from um, uh, from Steam. I that's absolutely true. I have no use for eye tracking, and that's why I said I won't be using Toby. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's all bugged up. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Controls. Uh, let's go to keys and buttons. We have something new here called start and stop engine electricity and there we go no that's absolutely not the correct button i was supposed to use this one great now i have to fix my gears again uh, gear shifts again uh start shop engine electricity is like when you put the key into your car turn it a little bit it turns on the electricity and then you turn it even more and it starts the engine this is basically the same thing Um, what else we have uh, new here we have uh, reset head tracking new setting for Toby then of course uh, I'm gonna go back to this one because I need to change or fix my there we go that one is correct that one is correct huh. uh, anyway in gameplay we're gonna make some changes here uh, we have now truck stability, trailer stability and suspension stiffness. These are settings that was available in 134 as console commands. Now you have them as settings in here. By default they are turned all the way up to the right here which is uh, setting 1.0 I think. Uh, recommended uh, to no one really uh, even if you have a keyboard you need to or you should or you could slide these ones a little bit further down but those of us who are fortunate enough to have a wheel SES recommend them all the way down here uh, what else do we have um, nothing else there there's nothing new under audio And it feels like I should have gone into this screen again and checked the... Sorry for being a little bit confused here. Uh, there is There are so many new things. There we have it. Random road events. Uh, we don't have... On ETS2, sorry, on ATS, uh, we have detours. They are not coming to ETS, unfortunately. So... Uh, uh, detours is only available on ATS. It's a shame, but it is what it is. Secondary names, yes. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Uh, if you enable secondary names and you have localized names of the cities here, you will then have the English name or the original name for the city uh, also uh, visible. So, uh, if you are using a Danish localization, it would say Köpenhamn, and then it would say Copenhagen just below that. Uh, Mr. Potato, did you miss? What are you? What do you mean useless? You miss this, and this. This isn't useless. <laughs> yeah, I, I, bang on. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to uh, to um, um, disrespect you, any of you in any way. If you ask me a question, I don't answer it. It's simply because I'm looking at the screen instead of I'm looking at the game screen instead of the chat screen. Uh, way too much today simply because I'm trying to take it all in myself at the same time as you do uh, I haven't been on this whoa Jesus Christ it did it again uh, because uh, most of this is pretty new to me too uh, but now we will do a haul
Uh, wipers are here as well. There's the first interval, second, and third. So that is something they have in common. Most of these things they do have in common, both games. Um, detours, probably the one I missed the most. Can't really understand why it's only available for ATS. Uh, Bangan, for your information, I'm using DX9 right now and my settings from uh, NVIDIA Inspector, they aren't here. So there's something about the experimental beta and um, Christ, it's, it is really dark. I'm going to crank it up even more like that. That should fix it. Uh, so, um, yeah, problems with the um, inspector on DX9 as well, unfortunately. Well, I, I kind of like the detour. Uh, I saw a report from someone saying that they even had a detour during a special transport. <laughs> now, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> Uh, I cranked the scaling up to a 400% now uh, since my settings from um, the inspector are gone or not working on on the current beta. Parody, I had a look. Uh, no, it's no surprise that Promos didn't work. Uh, what kind of surprised me a little bit is that my uh, my precious long haul combo didn't work. Uh, EAA isn't compatible, uh, a lot of other maps aren't compatible either. Uh, it's like it's, it always is when we uh, get new versions, major versions of the game. Some maps work, some maps don't. Um, right now I don't have a single working map combo uh, on 135. Uh, so there's really no surprise there that we will have to redo them, but um, oops, there we go. Uh, ow, sorry about that, bang on. I was in kind of a hurry. Um, downloading the beta took like some time. Uh, the update to 135 is about 2 gigabytes. Uh, Rowex is compatible. I'm not saying that Rowex works, but it is compatible. Uh, YKS RSK is compatible. Uh, Swedish Islands are, is compatible. Most map mods are listed as compatible. That doesn't mean that they actually work. Um, uh, but I didn't have time to look into what the reason was that my long haul combo didn't work uh, despite removing EAA. Um, I will look into it. Uh, yes, Andy, well spotted. There is one giant change to physics, and that is that 135 had the cab uh, on a single point suspension uh, more or less right under your feet uh, whereas 1.35 have four point cab suspension uh, so that that is a major change Uh, Soup, uh, Sergey, haven't seen him today. 
Try sending send him a message on uh, Rowex on the forum site. And I'll try to uh, get it all fixed by the ne before the next stream then bang on. I hate it when you're nagging on me. <laughs> Um, I mentioned the um, new view service adjustments page, the, the, the um, box you get when you press F7. Adjust trailers is available for the um, uh, Krona trailer, the box liner. So we're going to try out the box liner later on, so I can show you how that works. Prince Becky, welcome. Uh, well, with another work in progress Rustmap fix, okay. Finn, welcome. Uh, I agree, Perry. Uh, at the same time, they should have added Sardinia to the Italia DLC when it came out. It was kind of surprising that we didn't have it. Um, yes, you do need Italia to ha to get Sardinia. Yes, absolutely. Um, Corsica, it's coming, soup. Baby steps, brother. Baby steps. Finn, you were looking for some help. I hope you found it. I'm right now waiting because uh, it feels like you didn't find the help, so you want to ask me a question. Okay, thank you very much. You like my map mods or combos. Uh, you would like to have it as well. And I'm now expecting a but. Yeah, oh, there we go. Well, I'm sorry about that. We should be able to fix it, though. So what is the problem then, Finn? Andy, I'm uh, not the right person to, to ask about that. I've, I'm very, very fortunate. I've had my Logitech G25 for a really long time. Uh, so I, I haven't looked for new wheels ever since, really. Uh, so I'm, I'm not the guy to ask. If anyone else has some recommendations on, on cheap wheels, please let uh, Andy know. Uh, hi Craig. So Finn, uh, when the game starts it crashes. Uh, starting with Pro Mods then, do you have all the map DLCs? Uh, for 233 you won't need Baltics DLC, you will for 240. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have Baltics or not on 233, but you need to have the other four map DLCs. Do you have the other four map DLCs? And the other four is Going East, uh, Scandinavia, Vive de France and Italia. If you don't have all four of them, your game will crash. That's the first question. The second question is, have you tried creating a new profile and see if it works on a new profile? Uh, Andy, mine is uh, not something you can buy in the shops anymore, it's second hand, which is great, I guess. Uh, here in Sweden you can buy them for around 100, 150 euros, second hand. Uh, did you use any other map mods or uh, mods at all, uh, Finn, when it crashed?
<laughs> yeah, soup. Let's hope the T range comes available. Oh, have a look at this. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oops. Uh, Finn, first thing you need to do on your new profile is then to remove all other mods, make sure the profile works, and then add pro mods only. Well, get rid of it, Finn. Uh, you can't say pro mods crashes if you haven't tried to run just pro mods. It's a uh, very, very common question. People say that combos or a map mod doesn't work, when in fact it is the combination of whatever other mods they have and the map mod that doesn't work. So what you should always try first is remove all the other mods, or all mods really, make sure your profile still works and then add the map mod or the map combo and only the map combo then and see if that works and it probably does and then you can start adding all other mods back in Andy, this is Sardinia. We are currently holding on Sardinia uh, so uh, we'll find it. We'll find the road east of the island uh, and we will haul there. Uh, Finn, what I'm saying is that you go into the mod manager of the profile you want to use, you remove all the mods, active mods that is, you then start up the game, make sure that it works, and then you go back to the mod manager and add pro mods only. I hope you get it to work there, Finn, and if you don't, contact me, we'll figure it out. Uh, if it doesn't work, I will need your game.log file. It does VCT, but it also requires the um, Baltics DLC, so for those who doesn't have Baltics DLC, there's really no option. Unless you buy <laughs> Baltics, of course. Uh, yeah, I hope so too, Finn. And again, if it doesn't, let me know and we'll figure it out. So what city is this? Is this Olbia? No, it's not. This is Sasori. Okay, so we have Sasori. And I'm guessing we should later go down this road here. I've heard good things about this road. <laughs> Country Girl 45, welcome. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we could uh, work on that fin. Try, make, make, try to make it work first, see if it works, and if it doesn't, let me know. Um, and I'll send you my email address. Country girl, welcome. Uh, VC2 said something. <laughs> what do you mean, bad language? <laughs> did I use? Did I say anything bad? No problem, Finn. Oh, bad English. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you're not the only one. Those are new. Huh. This looks really nice. Look at that. Well, it took him a while, but uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Sardinia version that SES has provided. Well, 
Well, thank you, Reptile. That's very kind of you. Hope to see you next time, buddy. Uh, country. I'm from... Uh, <laughs> I'm from Sweden. Uh, yeah, probably it was soup. I didn't think of it. Uh, maybe it was the same uh, tram. Uh, Perry D, that's an easy question to answer. Romania is going to be the next DLC. Uh, well, Finn sounds like a Norwegian, possibly Danish name. So, Reptile, you know Bengan? <laughs> yeah, no surprise there, Bogdak. It should look better than the... Uh, uh, than the mods. Have a look at the cows here. There should possibly be... I know, this is, this is me totally nerding out here. Uh, the cows, let's have a look at the cows. They look absolutely horrible, but I think this is a new one. And I think she's broken. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you mind? <laughs> that, that cow is in pain. Anyway. Uh, Jap, the Mario map. Uh, it contains a ton of stolen mods. I couldn't care less about Mario map. Uh, I will never do a map review of the Mario map. Uh, I will never recommend the Mario map to anyone. It contains stolen material. Uh, support your local mod creator and map creator and download the original mods and maps instead. Finn, you don't want to move to Jävle. It's just cold. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible place. <laughs> oh, those. Well, it's it's uh, Italian or Sardinian cows. They might be different than the cows we're used to. This sure feels like Italia 2.0. It's just like when we got the Italy mod out and it looked fantastic. And now we have Sardinia and it looks kind of like Italia, but like version 2.0. That's right, Craig. Uh, there is absolutely no reason to use stolen mods and that is why I don't encourage anyone to uh, to play on, on the Mario map. Uh, Lasofat, welcome. No, this is not multiplayer. It's not possible to do multiplayer on the uh, experimental beta. Uh, so, no, this is offline. And uh, But thank you for asking. Life is great, buddy. Especially today. And hope yours is too. Oh, Christ! Let me just explain something here. <laughs> that was a close one. Uh, we have new physics. We have new physics and um, that requires us to um, go a little bit slower around the corners. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I'm gonna break. Looks good. I'm gonna then turn a little, see if we can
Yeah, you can probably see that the um, cab is moving a little bit uh, up and down on each side differently when I turn left and right. Uh, there are now uh, four-point cab suspension on 135. <laughs> Miss Nomad, I wasn't having a panic attack. I was just trying to save the day. <laughs> uh, well, we have four-point cabin suspension. Uh, 134 had only one-point cab suspension, so there is huge differences there. And using the same settings as I had on 134 with 135 for the cabin suspension, it's there are major differences in... Uh, uh, in it. Uh, it is... I'm not really sure I like it. Uh, I certainly have to think more before I uh, go around the corner. You have to slow down more than you're used to. So... Um, <laughs> I haven't panicked since the... Uh, uh, fourth episode of the Vorkuta stream, <laughs> Miss Nomad. <laughs> let's open, let, let me hear it. What's your uh, suggestion for a map? Soup, I wanted to use the X9 uh, for this stream just to see, get a feeling for how the X9 works. Later on I will switch to the X11 and uh, check the frame rates. I didn't do that much for uh, for ATS. So I want to do it for ETS instead. And I was kind of hoping to uh, verify that the NVIDIA inspector worked on 135 with the X9. Unfortunately it don't. So um, Uh, the lag VCT soup is uh, I've I've seen it um, uh, La Sofat the uh, row map by Alexandra team um, I have downloaded it probably three times now the three latest updates never got to hold on any of them um, will do at some point uh, I'm on the G25 uh, the Logitech G25 wheel. So it's old, but it's good. Hey, uh, hi, steve -os. Yes, I didn't only see it. I spoke a little bit about it uh, in the beginning of this stream. Uh, the lag soup, yeah, for sure. Uh, that's one of the great things about DX11. I'm right now on 40 frames should be on 60 and would be on 60 if I was running DX11. Uh, there is built-in support for Toby head tracking uh, now, Andy. Soup Arise will not release a Project Balkans compatible version. Fact is, uh, Project Vol Balkans is probably dead once um, the Romania DLC is out. Um, the uh, Rom uh, the Baltic DLC, sorry, the um, Balkans Project Balkans, it's not going to be compatible with the Romania DLC from what I've heard, so um, it's it's probably more or less dead. Yep, Romania DLC is the next DLC. It's been confirmed like five months ago. <laughs> a 
apologize. Oh, there's a horrible lag here. Of course, this is the um, experimental beta. The map is definitely not optimized. <laughs> horrible, horrible. I'm down to 30 frames right now. Uh, no news there, uh, bang on other than um, I have a job to do before I get the sponsorship completed. Um, and that's going to take me about a 40, 50 hours of work. Uh, need to find time to do that job. And as soon as that is completed, the PC is mine. Uh, what did I do? Right, so this is an own trailer. I'm not supposed to detach it. There we go. Press enter instead. There we go. So there we have that. Let's see if we can find another job and go down back to... No, let's not do that. There's another thing I want to check out first. Um, I want to go... Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible lag. Jesus Christ. I'm doing four frames per second right now. Wow. Well, that is the experimental beta for you. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Steve-O's Razer got official uh, support and I can confirm that it works. I happen to have a Razer keyboard myself and mouse. So, uh, yeah, you know, Soup, uh, I've on purpose got a couple of speeding tickets. I, um, I uh, crashed into someone and I filled up the gas tank several times uh, because the keyboard responds to that. And it was great looking at that for like two minutes. And um, no, I can't be bothered looking at it anymore. Uh, it's fun for two minutes, seriously. Uh, so there's absolutely no reason to buy a Razer keyboard uh, just for just for that. If you need a new keyboard and are willing to spend a hundred euros on a new keyboard, sure, buy a Razer keyboard, but don't buy it just for that function or whatever you want to call it. Oops. Well, Soup, I got four stickers. Uh, I haven't added them to uh, anything, so if you don't just want something racer team, I can send you my stickers, my racer stickers. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, trailer dealers, Mr. Sofat. Uh, that is the simplest thing ever these days. Um, wow, I have incredible... You know what? I'm going back out of the map, uh, the uh, world map. I have four frames every time I go into the um, map view. So I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, you can now buy uh, oh where you find trailer dealers sorry trailer dealers uh, just find one truck dealer and you will automatically have trailer dealers as well Yeah, if I, whoa, if I could choose soup, I would say I rog. <laughs> I would go rog. Uh, but that's me personally. didn't forget to slow down this is a beautiful road I uh, did a quick flyover uh, of this area before I uh, got online and I just I just have to go down here because it looks beautiful doesn't it I really really like this road already I haven't this is the first time I haul on it I just flew over it and I knew I was gonna love it and I do looks fantastic Kind of reminds me of uh, Norway, actually. This could be uh, up in the mountains somewhere in Norway. can't remember who said it but someone said on the last stream when we did ATS that it felt like SCS was encouraging people to um, to speed I can tell you that with the uh, four-point suspension <laughs> uh, you're not encouraged to speed at all <laughs> Yeah, Mike, I'm fully aware of... I didn't know that would happen, uh, but thank you. Uh, I have no plans, really, to uh, go back down to 134 with this profile, at least. Um, uh, but, yeah, this is the experimental beta. You should expect problems not only on the that version but going back to, down to 134 again you should expect problems uh, i saw um one of the guys from scs warning about it again today um, on the blog uh, doesn't matter Mike there will probably be problems on uh, ETS as well uh, when I'm streaming with uh, La Sofa what do you mean what kind of PC I have I have a really old uh, 
AMD PC, AMD based PC. Um, I should have retired it a long time ago. Um, but you know, things cost money. Uh, I'm not using OBS, no, I'm using uh, GeForce Experience. Uh, Dextro, I kind of did that on my video on uh, on Pro Mods. I talked a little bit of about where you should put the TCP. Oh, look at this! Uh, where you should put the TCPs? Hello! Oh, look at this! Uh, so far, I doubt I'll have better uh, better performance because GeForce experience basically doesn't ruin it at all. Um, and I played on this computer for a very, very long time uh, before I started doing streams. Um, so I I played on it using not using either GeForce experience or OBS. And um, yeah, at least with GeForce Experience, there is no difference really. Uh, just going to show you this. <laughs> Apparently, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, we are here. And this is the ferry to. Corsica. At least this should be the ferry to Corsica. I think there is a sign here that even says that. Uh, let's go down here and have a look. No, it did not. I thought there was a sign that says that. No, there isn't. Uh, Finn, I'm um, I'm using um, developer. Uh, I have enabled developer. Um, Christ, <laughs> what's it called? Developer something. Uh, so I'm doing flyovers. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Even though I don't have the Nvidia Inspector settings. Uh, can't complain about this. Uh, yes, Dextro, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> I shouldn't be there, but yeah. Anyway. Let's uh, see if we can find something to haul out of here and go back down again. Oh, still four frames. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... This is horrible. Four frames right now. Let's see what we have. Uh, down, back down to Cagliari. Perfect, sort of. Let's do that. Yeah, Finn, so you just press the zero button if you have um, developer mode uh, set. So you press the zero button and then you uh, move around using the numeric keyboard. And when you find a place where you want to put your truck, you just press the F9. And um, you have moved your truck uh, like I'm going to do right now uh, because I want to get there quickly. We've already seen this road.
And then I press F9. And I have moved my truck. So. Let's... Uh, no, you didn't understand correctly, Dextro. <laughs> uh, so far, I have a... Uh, that's the only great thing about my PC. I have a NVIDIA... Whoops. Uh, NVIDIA GTX 1066 gigabytes. That's the only good thing on this computer. <laughs> and that is what's saving me. Um... The graphic cards takes most of the heat anyway. So you you come a long way with just having a good graphics card. What you leaving us bang on? Well, with that kind of parking, I totally understand you. Uh, well, thank you for being here, Bengan. Catch you later, buddy. Let's see... Um, what we have. Right. Uh, I'm... We'll have to go into that horrible ah screen again uh, because we want to take this route here. Jesus Christ, it's lagging horribly. There we go. Come on, come on. Well, Craig, 1.15 a.m. Well, thank you very much for being there, buddy. Hope to catch you next time as well. And let's get started. Uh, I might... Might stop and sleep somewhere along this route because I don't want to do it in the dark. If it gets too dark, I'm going to stop for the night. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want you to miss anything of the beautiful views on um, on this island. Favorite truck, La Sofat? Well, I'm in it right now. Uh, Steve-O, I'm pretty sure Squirrel will, but he's in Peterborough right now. There is a huge truck event going on. So uh, that's probably why you won't see him doing the um, experimental beta. Probably next week you'll see something from him. Ah, oh, slow down, slow down. Uh, it's it's. I, I grew up with Scania's, and I do live in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, I've been, I'm not going to say I've been to the factory, but I live pretty very, pretty close to Södertälje, uh, where they have the headquarters of Scania, so uh, yeah, Scania is my home team. That's a new one, sort of. Oh, nice. Nice, Lasofat. Uh, Scarex, uh, the DX11 have a pretty huge impact, positive impact on the game. Uh, I'm running DX9 right now, which was a bad move. Uh, I did it because I wanted to see how uh, 135 and DX9 worked together with the NVIDIA inspector. Unfortunately, it didn't work. 
so um, I could just as well have done the DX11 instead, which I will once this uh, stream is over. Jesus, that is wow. Uh, never mind the blooming here. <laughs> No idea what that sign said. Uh, let me get back to you on that extra. Uh, I, I need to focus a little bit on <laughs> on this stream right now. Um, uh, well, we're on the highway, so why not? Uh, Map mods should always go to the bottom of the map, uh, mod manager. So my map combos, for instance, they always go to the bottom. You have nothing below my map combo. Everything you add to your game goes above my map combo. Uh, and what I normally do is I have my trucks right above uh, my map combos. And then I have my trailers and where I have my trailers that is also then where you would have your TCP settings and question to you is where do you want TCP the TCP uh, trailers to be available uh, all over or just on pro mods uh, do you have other trailer mods you want to use as well um, you should probably have the TCPs first and then all other trailer mods above that and then you bring in your company mods above that and above that you put uh, other kind of mumbo jumbo uh, trailer truck add-ons and above that you have your graphics uh, yeah sort of well thank you for being here Sofat Thank you for being here, buddy. Uh, so that is how I do it. Uh, I know, Bogdak, it's an ongoing war between those of us who believe that map mod should be at the bottom and those who believe that you should have at least some of uh, the mods uh, below uh, the map mods. And I think that is because it used to be the other way around uh, the higher uh, priority your mods used to have on ETS the first version of ETS for instance uh, the further down in the mod manager you had them your high, the higher priority they had it's the complete opposite with ETS 2 and ATS uh, and I think that is what is causing confusion Uh, you say that now, Soup? Seriously? <laughs> uh, we're gonna turn around. <laughs> oh, 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 I had to be called. <laughs> I'm still not used to the new <laughs> suspension. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, that was really, really close. And we're going to stop somewhere here. Um, get some daylight back in. Uh, right there, I think, will be fine. There we go. So we're going to be late with this delivery because I um, changed the time in game, but who cares?
Yeah. Uh, again, if anyone already haven't understood it already, uh, we have new suspension settings. The uh, cab in game had one suspension point in 134. On 135, it has four. So the cab moves around a lot more than it used to do. And let's see what we have here. Now this is an event we should have a look at. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a bug. I'm not going to call that uh, an event. And I'm not really sure why that trailer here or truck here stopped. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that was an event, but it isn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not an event. Moving on. So Dextro, uh, you have to s decide whether you want to give um, priority to TCP or other trailer mods, depending on how they work together with TCP. Um, trial and error. Put them below the TCPs, see if that works. Uh, if you could then can't find them anywhere, those trailers, try putting them above TCP. Uh, but it won't necessarily work even if TCP itself works and if the trailer mod you have works by itself it's not uh, you can't ever be sure that they work together and if they do it might um, depend on the um, order of the two mods or the three or four whatever mods Hi Indra, welcome. <laughs> Spider-Man truck, yeah. <laughs> At least he <it> tried. <laughs> I'm taking this shortcut. <laughs> well, thank you for being a Finn. Nice chatting to you and hope to see you again next time. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't used the TCPs myself in a really long time, so I don't, I don't really know what's in there anymore. Uh, I try to um, avoid adding too many trailer mods at the same time these days, and I've, I've, I've found a particular trailer mod that I want to use, so I go all in on that one and then I remove it and add another one that I want to try out instead of having a ton of them because there will in many cases be conflicts and problems so one of the things we spoke about during the ATS Oops. Uh, ATS stream was the drawing distance so the drawing distance is the distance from where you are to the furthest point away that you can see things like mountains for instance and um, I'm sure all of you have seen that you drive you're hauling or driving somewhere and a mountain slowly becomes visible in front of you it doesn't really look good uh, but that happens everywhere and on ATS they have less of that problem and the idea was that it could possibly be because of DX11 I'm gonna go ahead and say that looking at mountains far away here 
um, seem to work as well despite me on being on DX9. Uh, I think it's just that they have made changes to the game itself. Doesn't really matter if you're on DX9 or 11 in regards of the uh, drawing distance. Well, Dextro, I do know how to install TCP. I'm showing the uh, load order of the, those mods uh, in my Pro Mods video. Uh, but what the order should be together with other trailer mods, I don't think anyone can actually answer that. It depends on the trailer mods. So if we can find someone who's using the exact same trailer mods as you're using, then someone is probably able to answer. Um, but if we're talking just about the TCP, I'm showing that in the video. And the TCP files goes above Pro Mods and all your other map mods. Uh, Dexter, you're talking about your uh, the other trailer mods then, just a paint scheme. Uh, I would say that goes below uh, TCP. So I would, in that case, I would, you know what, it probably doesn't matter in that case. Uh, for something like that, it doesn't really matter because the TCPs, uh, from what I know, do not affect the um, special transports. So I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't matter. But if you want to make sure that the uh, mod that you are using to change the uh, logos on the special cargoes, uh, then I've, if you want to make sure that they are used, you should put them above TCP. Uh, Steve, we could go through the trailers again. Um, there are some new trailers. This being the Schwarzmiller, the new Schwarzmiller trailer. There are other new trailers as well. Uh, low loaders. Um, don't think there was one. Not yet, at least, by SCS. Well, they certainly didn't disappoint SCS on Sardinia. Hi, Doomer! Welcome, buddy! How are you, Doomer? See ya, Soup. Sleep well. I think I love Sardinia a little bit. <laughs> Double DZ, uh, welcome. And uh, how I got the 135 uh, from Steam. 
if you bought the game on Steam, you just go to uh, the game on Steam uh, instead of left clicking on the game to start it, you right click the game and select properties and from there you can select beta and then choose experimental beta Your duck mod doesn't work on 135 Doomer. <laughs> I checked. <laughs> no problem, double. So it's it's your mod there, Doomer, and a gazillion other mods as well that doesn't work. Yes, that is correct, Steve-O. Oh, holy shit. Slow down. This road looks epic. Oh, I want to do some... I wish there was some, I don't know, special transport on this road here. when I want to haul something really really heavy up this road instead of down and I want to use an old Fiat perhaps the NMN uh, 210 perhaps time to get that back out of the closet and try it out <laughs> Thanks, Doomer. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Uh, well, yeah. Um, this island looks pretty. Good alternatives to TCP. Uh, Dextro, you should go to um, uh, Jassy Cat. Have a look at his trailers. Oh God! Look, I got. I hang on. I want to try out that surface. Please be horrible, please be horrible. No! Hmm. I was kind of hoping that would feel different from gravel. It feels exactly like gravel. Too bad. <laughs> Sorry for being really nerdy today. Uh, Look at that. And this. Congrats, Doomer. And now it's time to update to 135 and start all over again. <laughs> Uh, 
There is so much to see and try out here in Sardinia. I gotta say, I'm I'm very very happy with Sardinia. Uh, Cas and Cas, uh, yes, but be warned. This is the experimental beta, and if you update the profile you are using, might not ever work again so uh, if you care about the profile that you're using uh, if you only have one profile uh, or whatever profile you are using for 135 make sure it's a disposable profile uh, it there's a ton of reasons why it wouldn't work if you revert back to 134 or even if you then update to the public beta and the final version of 135. Uh, Shaw Dextro, uh, there's uh, the company logos. Yeah, you have the real company mods, uh, but be careful using it. Um, yeah, I think you should wait for the public beta case unless you don't don't give a damn about your profile. <laughs> um, a lot of people have been having problems reverting back to 134. And when they did the experimental beta for 134, people had problems even when upgrading to the uh, public beta and the uh, final version so uh, things can happen it's why it's called experimental uh, I will probably start putting a um, map combo for 135 together soon um, very soon uh, because to be honest I don't feel like reverting back to 134 again yeah that makes sense Kershian. what you could do is of course make a copy of the profile and save it for later that might work but you are still risking uh, your profile um, so yeah the recommendation is don't do it and with that said go ahead and try out the experimental beta <laughs> uh, Ferdinand no there are no new trucks on 135 oh damn Doomer congratulations Lucky, lucky you. Oh, I kind of wish I was Doomer right now. Um, damn, you're gonna love that. Yay! What's new? Uh, <laughs> everything. <laughs> uh, there are tons of news. The uh, perhaps most interesting parts is uh, DirectX 11 support uh, is kind of in here now. There's a ton of things that doesn't work, but uh, DirectX 11 is, to me at least, the most important news. And uh, of course, adding Sardinia, great news. Having uh, more of uh, Germany updated, great news. The new physics, uh, four point cab suspension instead of one point cab suspension. Great news, dangerous news as well. Uh, I've on, almost uh, flipped the truck over a couple of times. Uh, Demian, this is uh, Sardinia. This is Sardinia. Uh, double, I can almost guarantee that it will screw up your uh, profiles. If you have mods, your profiles will be screwed up. Uh, that's just how it is. 
seriously. If you are using any of my map combos, I can confirm that none of them work on 135. Uh, I should also warn you that uh, try in 135 out and uh, downgrading back to 134 is no guarantee that the profile will then work. You might have problems with your profile when reverting back to 134. And to be completely honest, you might also have problems updating the profile to the um, final game uh, later on. So um, public, sorry, experimental beta is totally at your own risk. Yeah, the AI hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Pengan. No, we're not on DX11. Uh, but I think we're done with uh, Sardinia for now. Uh, there we go. Uh, you missed a truly beautiful road back down um, from... And we're back to four, <laughs> four frames per second again. Uh, the road down from Olbi, Ol, Olbia to Cagliari. F this road here, fantastic. Uh, never mind my frame rate. <laughs> this is the public beta. Um, so there is that. Uh, let me s see if I can show you the map despite having four frames. Uh, I'm trying to get up to... There we have it. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Uh, we have this area here in Germany. And we have this road here. Uh, there might be some hidden roads similar to those we saw on ATS into Utah. There might be something similar somewhere along this part here. I haven't had any time to look into that. I kind of hope there is something like that. Um, but we don't have anything... Oh Christ, my frame rate. My frame rate is good when I zoom out all the way, but as soon as I start zooming in a little bit, it's absolutely horrible. So I can't do that right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, so we're still on DX9 Bengan. Uh, Yarno, this is not the open beta, it is the uh, experimental beta. It's available to everyone. But uh, it's the experimental. Uh, highly recommended that you don't try it out. You might have a ton of problems afterwards. Uh, but of course, uh, who can resist? Uh, Ioi, welcome. And Hiroshi, welcome to you too. Yeah, and they could you need some work on the AI. The fact is, they have been making changes to the AI. Uh, very early versions of the experimental beta had huge problems with the AI, uh, but that was on ATS. I haven't seen any real changes to uh, the AI on ETS. So, um, let's have a look at the new trailers. Um, I think... Didn't we already do this? And why am I here? This is not where I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be there. Trailer listing. We have these. Uh, these trailers are the container carrier. It's the same trailer. 
uh, and you can expand it uh, in game so you can uh, have it like this and if you press F7 in game you can then change the size of the trailer of course you have to do that before you add the container um, I demonstrated it on uh, ATS so I'm not gonna show it to you on ETS as well uh, I've already done it but as you can see there are several different types of cargo to use with that um, expandable expandable trailer uh, what else do we have here that is new um, the Krona box liner there it is yeah expandable as I said Uh, how would you use DX11? Uh, you go into your config.cfg, you find a line there where it says DX9, you just change DX9 to DX11, and then you start your game using the desktop icon. Do not try to start the game using DirectX in Steam, because that will revert it back to DX9. Uh, run open beta for 135 on ETS this is the experimental beta that is what we have for now and it could possibly take several weeks or months even before we have the open beta for 135 any news on map DLCs yes the Romania map DLC will come out soon after the release of uh, 135 so Romania is the next DLC that has been confirmed um, but other than pretty soon after 135 I have no idea should we go to Erfurt perhaps and have a look at the new parts of Germany maybe we should and maybe we should switch trailers as well. Um, I just have to try these out. Um, but what I really should do is show you the expendable instead, of course. I'm going to add one of the expendables ones. Expandable, not expendable. Uh, let's see. So we're going to buy this one. Um, this one was said to be expandable. It doesn't look like it is. You know what? I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the standard trailer instead. Hmm. Now I'm confused. I should be able to use doubles. Let's try that. There we go, and then I'm going to switch that one out and use that one instead. Dismiss. Oh, I didn't complete the job. Well, never mind. Seriously, I have to resume. Oh, it's because I own the trailer. I can't just disconnect. I need to... There we go. 
yeah, I knew I was going to be late. So let's then get rid of this one and and that one instead. Okay, don't go to Nuremberg then. I don't know how you spell Nuremberg. Yeah, that's what I thought. But anyway, let's go to Erfurt. Doesn't matter. And let's just put it down there. That should work. And there we have them. Let's have a look now. I'm gonna press F7 and then I'm gonna press enter and I can't adjust the trailer. Ah! Wrong trailers. <laughs> uh, actually you can't change the DirectX 9 and DirectX 11 settings you can use a um, start command as well as uh, putting it in the uh, console, but I haven't been able to get that to work. Uh, welcome, Stolly. And uh, Shukun from Japan even. Welcome. I'm going to change trailers again. I want to show you the expandable trailer uh, I'm gonna go for the chrono box liner down there we go and trailer manager get rid of that one and that one Let's have a look now, see if it works. Yes, now we can adjust the trailer. So, um, 20 feet, 2 times 20 feet, or 40 feet uh, containers, that is. So just one 20 feet container, two 20 feet containers, or one 40 feet container. Confirm changes, and there you have it. So that is how that works, uh, and as you noticed, emergency refueling, great new feature, thank you very much SES. I could have used that six months ago. Uh, let's pick up some cargo with this thing. Um, something exciting. There is absolutely nothing exciting here. Beverages, that will work. So what I should do is then 
uh, adjust the trailer before I pick my cargo. Of course, you can't uh, change the um, um, the trailer now. For instance, now that we have picked our uh, cargo, we can't adjust the trailer. So you have to do that before you um, choose your cargo. There we go. Let's have a look at the map, see where we are going. We're going to Magdeburg. Should we take it? And as soon as I zoom in, I'm down to four frames <laughs> again. Uh, nah, that'll be fine. We'll go to Magdeburg. Uh, let me just get out of here. Come on. There we go. So, welcome to New Germany. Uh, let's see what they've done. Can't really. I'm no expert on Germany. Fact is, I haven't been in Germany for a really long time, so I'm not really sure what's new here, except everything, of course. Yeah, it definitely should, Ioi. Uh, now that we've been to um, Sardinia. Uh, Germany has a lot to live up to. No signs? The signs do look good. Updated trees, grass, everything. Uh, yeah, bang on, I'm on 400%. Uh, I did miss my exit, didn't I? Oh, great! No! Oh. You know what? These new <laughs> suspension settings are interesting. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I guess the biggest problem is the trailer. <laughs> uh. I think I should um, make some tiny changes. Uh, yeah, we kind of spoiled Bengal using uh, the NVIDIA inspector.
but uh, looking beyond that uh, Germany sure looks better now than it has ever done before <laughs> it doesn't well it, it's strange because it kind of feels like yes of course we are hauling in germany right now but considering what it used to look like it doesn't really feel like we're hauling in germany <laughs> it's just the signs it, it feels like we're on a map mod <laughs> it definitely have changed And uh, that could uh, keep in mind, Bang, and that I am on DX9 here. I'm not on DX11. Uh, I think that could be the uh, difference. At least if if you're only comparing my two videos of the uh, two experimental betas, uh, I'm, I, I wouldn't say that it's worse or better now. Uh, until I've tried this one out on the X11 as well. Hopefully... Hopefully it's just a matter of switching to the X11. A uh, new event, isn't it? Mm, sort of two people chatting behind the trailers there. I think that's new. Uh, couldn't it be that they are already working on optimizing the game for DX11, Bengan? So um, we shouldn't draw any conclusions from anything unless we are using DX11? Question mark. At least I don't have the same tearing uh, on ETS as I had on... Well, I have some of it. Christ, I do have some of it here too. But not as... not even close to as bad as it was on ATS on DX11. I like the tiny little gravel roads they've added. Cows? I missed the cows. Where was the cows? I'm confused. I totally missed the cows. There's a new event. No, not new. <laughs> Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, holy mother. Oh, and hang on. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> 
<coughs> Thank you, Collier. <laughs> Gee. You're killing me. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Have we seen that in traffic before? Not the truck. I'm not talking about the truck here, obviously. That trailer in traffic with that cargo? I'm not sure I've seen that before. Could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well put, Bengan. <laughs> Jesus. Welcome back, Mike and uh, the buds. Welcome. <laughs> you know your way around women, Bengan. <laughs> uh, Mike, we're in Germany now. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Uh, we are in Germany on the new... Um, new parts of Germany so we're gonna go up to Magdeburg first I think we're gonna go from Hanover then down to Kassel and this way down to Nuremberg uh, before moving over to uh, France Dreamliner welcome Uh, for those of you who haven't been watching these streams, I do apologize for the horrible, horrible graphics. Uh, just uh, ignore that. This is the experimental beta. Uh, my NVIDIA inspector settings doesn't work. Uh, so ignore that. Uh, let's just say that despite the horrible graphics mode I have right now, uh, Germany looks fantastic. Uh, Kalia, I love DX11. I know that we are far from having DX11 in uh, an official version of the map or the game. Uh, but the potential and the results so far are really, really promising. I have a huge frame rate increase on DX11. <laughs> well, well, it's it's true, Bang. And I mean, it does look horrible. Look at the sky. Look at the power lines. Well, the power lines here isn't that bad, but I mean, it doesn't look like it should look. When you fixed it for me, it looks a lot better. And now we have to start all over. Uh, but. Yeah, there's uh, a ton of problems with the X11 uh, from a mother's perspectives, I guess. But for us, the players, uh, the X11 is godsend. It's about time we got it. Well, Mike, have you been to Germany? It's kind of how it is. Awesome, Kalia. Uh, I'm more or less doing the same thing, except none of my map combos will work uh, for a very long time. I won't have uh, Pro Mods, I won't have um, TSM, EAA doesn't work. Um, Bengen, of course, Swedish Islands probably work. Uh, hopefully, uh, Southern Region works, uh, Rowex hopefully as well. Um, so that I have something to haul on. <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're from Germany, Mike. That's right. <laughs> uh, well, I do have an excuse for um, SCS there because this isn't really the northern parts, is it? Uh, well, this is, but this isn't the northern parts. Uh, they did make some changes. But that was probably on the eastern side. No, where was that? Around Hamburg. 
well, this for sure they have a lot of work left to do. I still have the sound spikes, gee. Um, well, not for long, Bang Out. They will, they have to be gone as soon as I get my new computer. Uh, did they remake that country road from Hamburg to Rostock, Mike? <laughs> oh, we are going in this direction. Yeah, well, I hope they fix it. Uh, if I look at my own hometown, it's it's pretty accurate. And Sweden in general, I, I'm gonna say it's pretty accurate I'll have a look Mike yeah uh, I'll have a look and compare them no, I will not, of course, because I'm not 135. I won't have... <laughs> I'm going to have to go on YouTube and watch some videos, I guess, if I want to compare them. What is that? Is that a... Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. What is that giant TP over there? What are you in game truck settings? I am, um, I am suspension in game. <laughs> what do you mean, Stevo? <laughs> Seriously, dude? That's, uh, well, thank you, but, oh, you moron. Well, I can confirm the um, the AI is just as horrible as they've ever been. Now, before we park this thing, I want to have a look at that. Where is it? There it is. What is that? That's just... Is that a real thing? I guess it is, but... I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm, st <laughs> I'm still alive, Bogdak. <laughs> That's uh, odd. I have no idea why that is there. Mike, uh, I'm guessing you're saying that that's not something that belongs in Magdeburg. Oh, you haven't been there. Well, me neither, but it doesn't feel like it belongs there. And now we need a job down to um, down to 
Nuremberg was it? It was Nuremberg, yeah. Come on, there's got to be one job down to Nuremberg, please. No? Okay, uh, Linz, Salzburg, Munich. Klagen for Zurich. Zurich? We had something to Zurich? What do we have then? No, 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 no. Wrong direction. All of them. Zurich. There we go. Let's do that one to Gross. Not that I'm gonna go. It's a real building? <laughs> Hang on, guys. I just gotta check Mike's link there. Uh, <laughs> It's the Sehenswürdigkeiten Magdeburg. <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> uh, the external market won't work, Stevos, because I'm not connected to World of Trucks. Uh, because I'm on the experimental beta, which you can't connect. You have to be on the open beta to connect to World of Trucks, so it, it's not working, sorry. So that building over there, it is the real thing. Uh, I'm gonna save that link and read up on it later. How far is it? Only a kilometer, okay. What kind of trailer is... Sorry, what kind of truck is that? Is that a... Oh, the picture is too dark on, on my screen. Uh, welcome back, Smelly. Gee, don't disappear again, buddy. You're freaking us out. Stop disappearing all the time. <laughs> uh, smelly, everything is new. And uh, as always with new versions, nothing works. Um, Uh, Kalia, your truck there, what kind of truck is it? Uh, Smelly, what's new? Uh, DirectX 11. Uh, probably, at least to me, the biggest change. Uh, then we have um, Sardinia here. No, come on, dude! Stop doing that! <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, the uh, beta code is uh, zero. There's no code. It's just downloaded from Steam. Um, as you can see, profile not connected to World of Trucks. We can't connect it. It's just how it is. Um, that one. Your F8... 16 rebuild, okay. Is that a private mod, Kalia? Yeah, there is, but that is for the non-public uh, beta, and this is the open experimental beta. The guys with those codes are people like Squirrel. Uh, us normal people, we won't get access to those anyway, so... Awesome, Kalia. Yeah. 
Well, if you if you if you ever want to share any of your private mods, unless you have paid for it, of course. But if it's your own private mod, feel free to share it with me, <laughs> please. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We have to change the route because no, we don't have to change the. Yes, we have to, because I want to go this way. We're not gonna go all the way down to Grass. I just want to get down to Nuremberg. Have a look at the new roads here. Uh, Toby Doomer. Uh, yeah, Toby. Uh, probably great. Also very expensive. Not going to use it. Um, hopefully they will add uh, out of the box um, support for other head tracking uh, devices as well in the future well it was worth a try Kalia <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sucker for everything new <laughs> everything new and different um, Send me an email, Kalia, and uh, we'll figure it out. Um, you find me on wombattrucker at gmail.com. Well. Germany might not be as accurate and great looking as Mike wanted to look, but it sure looks a ton better than it used to. And uh, we should be able to see what it used to look like in a little bit. Hmm, looking forward to reading my emails later. Yeah, Bengen is kind of upset with uh, <laughs> with, the <laughs> with the Toby head trackers doomer. <laughs> He's not a fan. <laughs> and <laughs> here we are back on the old Germany. What a difference. What a difference. Well, that we can agree on. Even though I'm sure Bengen has some um, thoughts on that as well. And even if you don't have a webcam, uh, like Bang & already had, um, you can buy the cheapest piece of crap, really. Even my 2 euro uh, camera would work. Arthur! Arthur, welcome! Uh, I gotta say... Uh, the um, when is promo is going to be updated for 135 I need it now because I'm not going to revert back <laughs> I'm doing great thank you how are you Arthur yeah and it already looks completely outdated <laughs> The grass and trees here doesn't look that good.
You work as in updating pro mods? I hope it won't be too much work to get uh, pro mods up to date for 135 and ready for 135. You shouldn't have problems, at least, because you're not working on Germany, are you? So that was the east-western Germany borders. Lightning isn't half bad. Oh, you are working on Germany. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that, Arthur. <laughs> you have a lot of work on your hands then. Well, I'm glad you see it that way. Uh, I can confirm that Mike here really appreciate the work you have doing on Germany, especially northern Germany. Whoa! Oh, right. Yeah, there's still uh, <laughs> some work to do with the X11, but uh, it definitely looks promising. Uh, I'm very, very happy to see that ETS, uh, sorry, SCS finally have something in the works for us there. Oh, Christ, dude! Why the hell? Alex070867, welcome. And uh, welcome to you as well, Krim. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Alex. That's very kind of you. Uh, be aware, though, if you update to 135, none of those combos will work. <laughs> It could have been my mother as well, Kalia. <laughs> what a difference. This used to be the updated Germany and now it looks just rubbish compared to, to what we have been given in 135. And now we're on to the new uh, parts of the map again. Could be wrong, but I, I, I swear it feels like you can see it immediately when you go from the older parts of Germany, any uh, version of older Germany other than 135, uh, and on to the new parts of Germany. Uh, yes, Alex, I have. Uh, unfortunately, of course, they don't work yet. We need 
probably what's going to be a DLC. But it's going to be really interesting. I uh, really look forward to seeing what that is going to be like. Hopefully it's going to be something that we will see uh, available as mods as well. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, how great it would be to have like squirrel probably uh, or Monty Python uh, someone said Adolf Hitler I'm not sure that's a good idea but <laughs> other people do in voices uh, much like you can download and uh, buy and download the uh, voiceovers for uh, real life GPS's as well would be great if we could do that with with um, <coughs> uh, the GPS voice commands in in game as well. <laughs> yeah, of course I would do something like that. Uh, <laughs> that could be re that could be a lot of fun. <laughs> oh Christ! And my racer keyboard just flashed blue there for a while. There we go. It certainly would be a lot of fun having the GPS acting horribly like take a left turn you moron or you just missed your exit stupid turn around and go back uh, or maybe that's just me New signs. Looking good. <laughs> Looking really good, actually. Yeah, call you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, if you don't have a racer keyboard or mouse, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it was a lot of fun for like two minutes, and now I don't really care anymore. Uh, fun fact about it, uh, when you get a speeding ticket for instance, on ATS the racer keyboard then flashes red and blue. On ETS however it only flashes blue. Um, but I mean, it was fun for like two minutes and now I don't really care anymore. But I guess a racer keyboard would be great for someone who is new to the game since the game highlights the keys that are functional uh, depending on where you are in game. Um, so that's a good thing. But most of the time I don't even look at the keyboard when I press keys on it anymore.
I think we're gonna stop for the night. Um, I really don't want to haul air during the night. Um, it's getting difficult seeing what is happening on the map. Well, thank you for being here, Arthur. Have a good day and good luck on uh, your continued work on Pro Mods. I'm gonna stop right here and let's see. Uh, there we go. Five in the morning should do it. Look at that. You know what? I haven't hauled in Germany for a really, really long time and maybe it's time for me to go back and do some proper hauling here again. It feels like a completely new country in game. Awesome. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, SCS sure knows how to put a big smile on my face. I just wish we could access these roads here. A new event? No, same old. Uh, they do, don't they, Bogdak? But I think the, the distance is further away now than it used to be. Yeah, I bet the merge is going to take a while, Mike. Um, and uh, that castle looked good. Ah, nice. Uh, let's see what Promos does. Worst case, I'm just going to erase their parts of the map that SCS has updated. They have modified the power lines, haven't they? Yeah, they must have done modifications to those. 
Peter76, yes indeed, a lot higher frame rates than on DX9. Uh, I'm currently using DX9 on ETS, I have been using DX11 on ATS and the frame rate increases by somewhere between 10 and 20 frames on my computer. I'm running a, a, a GTX 1066 gigabytes. Those power towers there, or whatever they're called, I don't think they looked like that before. Um, but there is a lot of problems with tearing Peter, so it's not all good yet. This is, after all, only the... Oh, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. This is, after all, only the um, experimental beta. Uh, and they do look a lot better, Mike, than the old ones. <laughs> yeah. The, the old ones were really ugly. Syed Tomala, welcome. Uh, the f final version 135, uh, no one knows. Uh, my best guess is two months, four weeks perhaps. Probably not less than four weeks. I wouldn't know about that, Mike, because I haven't been to poll... Uh, well, I have. Uh, i got to think. I know I must have seen them, but I can't remember what I looked like. For sure it wasn't those old, red, ugly things. Um, because they were so horrible, it was absolutely impossible to forget them. Um, so I guess they were updated, but I can't remember what they looked like. Similar to these, perhaps? Let's have a look at the map again, see where we are and how close we are to... Okay, we have quite a bit to go before we reach Nuremberg. Let's go with this. No, let's do... Actually, let's... Let's do this. They have made some changes here as well. Yeah, and that looks a lot more like the real thing. I have no idea where in the world they would have those red and uh, white. Uh, I, I've, I can't remember seeing that anywhere in the world. Possibly in one country somewhere, but... This is more like it. Kazakhstan. <laughs> Possibly not because I've seen them there. I've never been to Kazakhstan. Yeah, great step. Uh, but of course they are using whatever prefabs are available. Oh, that was a close one. But I meant in real life. Uh, I'm not sure I have sen seen the red and white ones in real life anywhere, possibly 
somewhere sometime, but I can't remember where I was. <laughs> I have no humor, Mike. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the joke went right over my head. <laughs> Uh, I missed an exit, didn't I? <laughs> Christ. Where, where am I now? Where what? Uh, I think I'm going to reset the navigation. Four frames again. Don't zoom in on the map, stupid. Uh, there we go. We have a few here, what is... Oh! Alright, there's high visibility of test paints. Well, that makes sense. Uh, Bogdak! Thank you for being here, man. Hope to catch you next time. Have a great Saturday evening. And Perry D is back. Welcome, Perry. Well, it makes sense having them like uh, test painted high visibility uh, power uh, towers, whatever it's called. Uh, but I mean, like everywhere? No. I have no idea why. Look at that. That is nice. Huh. Bert Kielman, that was a long time. Haven't seen you around in like months, I think. Welcome back, Bert. How have you been? I always, you do know that once they have rebuilt all of Germany, the first two thirds will have to be remade again. <laughs> uh, because the currently newest parts of it looks a lot better uh, than, <laughs> than the previously remade <laughs> parts of Germany. <laughs> well, I hope you've been busy playing and not trying to set them up, uh, Bert. Most things looks better than old Germany. <laughs> A splitter lane on the A9, that is, I guess. Uh, don't know if any of you have noticed, but the... Um, uh, when you're looking at the GPS, uh, you have, uh, this is the closest setting, zooming out a little bit, zooming out even more. And I think this view is new as well. I can't remember us being able to zoom this far out previously. I could be wrong, but... Um so here's a splitter then. Just like in real life. You're absolutely right, Bang. I mean, can you believe this game has been out for five years? And it looks like this? And people are still using it and it's still on the top 
download lists whenever a new DLC is released. Uh, unheard of. Name one other game that uh, is able to do that after five years. I can't think of any games. Um, this event here, Burning tr uh, Tanker trailer, uh, there's nothing new about that. But on ATS I saw a burning bus. The flight simulator? Minecraft, well... <laughs> Minecraft will always and should look like it's made in the 1800s. 1900s perhaps. FSX flight simulator? Um, does anyone really play that anymore? Okay, so never mind then. Don't mention any other games that are capable of still being this vital after five years. <laughs> uh, well, on ATS I saw a burning bus. Um, Age of Empires 2. I don't think so. <laughs> Ludergraben, yeah. Um. <laughs> Ludergraben in Swedish is almost... <laughs> Do I dare to say it, Pengen? <laughs> Ludergraben? <laughs> For real? Age of Empires? Wow! <laughs> That's like a hundred years old. <laughs> okay, I dare. So uh, Ludergraben in Swedish means uh whore boy or um yeah <laughs> so there you have it now you know <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, the, the chat went completely dead. <laughs> Except for party. <laughs> Well, it's not my fault that Germany decided to name a place Whore Kid or Whore Boy. <laughs> and we are back on the old parts of Germany. Look at the trees and... <laughs> of course you do, Mike. <laughs> well, the power lines or the power towers or whatever they're called, they have been um, swapped out for the newer ones. And here come some newer parts again. I, I understand, Mike. I'm just joking with you. Well, we all gotta go there sometime. And um, I think we are getting close to being done with Germany for today. Um, quick look at the map again. Uh, yeah. 
Um, I actually think we should go over to Reims in France now. Cover this road here as well, see what the new road in France looks like. Um, before we end the stream for the day. So let me just pull over here and I'm not going to deliver this cargo on time anyway. Let's see. Um, where should I put the truck down? Here, perhaps? I don't know if that will work, but let's see. No, it... Oh, it does work! Uh, kinda. Sort of. Um, uh, not a good idea. Let's put it down here instead. And let's have a look at the map again. Uh, so, down there and there. Right. Just gonna go a quick fly over down to There we have it. Perfect. There we go. So, having a look at the map. This is the road we want to cover. I don't know how much time I spent looking for house farts. <laughs> um, party is just um, uh, you have to use uh, developer mode, and then you just fly around and press F9 wherever you want to drop your truck. Make sure you don't drop it from a height like I did. Uh, so it's developer settings, that's all. Oh, you know what? I'm getting low on fuel and I'm not going to refuel. <laughs> because I want to test that, see how that works when you run out of fuel. Uh, if you want to activate developer mode, party, uh, go to YouTube and search for ETS2... Uh, developer uh, mode no not developer mode uh, teleporting and squirrel squirrel has done a uh, superb video on how to how to teleport the video is uh, three years old at least but it still works it's still the same settings is this the new road already <laughs> Yeah, de depending how far you want to teleport, I guess, that could work. <laughs> Is this really a new road? I guess it is, but I'm not... Um 
impressed. Yet. I think they... <laughs> did they use assets from Vive la France to make this road connection? Um, I, uh, just to make sure it blends in perfectly with old France. Uh, I'm not sure I'm impressed with this. Matthias, welcome. Some parts feel new, like... Uh, yeah, some parts of this feels new, but the grass, the trees, they look old. I'm not gonna stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my keyboard is flashing. <laughs> yeah, it sure does, Perry. Uh, I mean, those lights, for instance, they look new. Um, but the tarmac, the grass, the trees, they look old. Elf 39, welcome! <laughs> <laughs> How are you, buddy? Uh, he crashed into me. I didn't crash into him. The buildings look new. Strange. Strange feeling. That looks new. I'm doing fine, <laughs> thank you else. We are holding on 135 experimental beta, we are in France on the uh, new road in France which doesn't look new at all <laughs> That's a funny one, Porter. <laughs> well, I couldn't care less, Kalia. I mean, he was just being stupid there. He had to give me way. I'm completely innocent here. I'm the victim. Hang on for a second. I, I, I'm really confused with this part of the map. It, yeah, this is, and this part here too, is the new road they've been talking about. I'm not impressed at all. I'm just confused by it. It looks old and new at the same time. What do you mean? <laughs> of course I'm innocent. <laughs> Am I... Oh, hang on, i got to check the cows. Let's see what the cows look like. No, they are... You're fine. But you poor, poor, poor cow. Where, where did this last one? There it is. Yeah. Poor, poor cows. <laughs> Uh, Elt, I'm gonna say you have a challenge for me. I'm not gonna fall for that. I'm done with the challenges. <laughs> K 
Courtenay, or Courtenay, or however you pronounce the name of this city. Welcome to Courtenay. Um, nice little city, uh, but I'm not convinced. So it's no new challenge, then I can't guess. I have no idea else. What? <laughs> yeah. Those cows are living proof that you shouldn't go vegan or vegetarian for that matter. We all need to eat more meat to put those poor cows out of their misery. So let's all help those cows and end their suffering by eating more meat. Oh great, you have a project? A project for me to do or to complete or... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's. I agree, Carl. It, there's something weird about it. <laughs> well, speak up, man. What is it? <laughs> what is it else? <laughs> what do you have? Oh, please don't say it's a car in game. Please say it's a car in real life. <laughs> I guess that answers the question. It's not a car in game. It's it's an EPA tractor. <laughs> okay, you're converting it into an A tractor. Yeah. Church looks nice. Well, kind of, Peter. Uh, yeah, I want to know why the road looks weird, uh, Peter. I, I kind of expected something like what we just saw in Germany. Uh, I mean, there's not that much differences between grass in Germany and grass in France, or trees for that matter, or cows. <laughs> uh, and still it feels like they are using Uh, different types of grass in France, older types of grass in France than they do in Germany. And I can't really understand why. So I just expected uh, newer trees, newer grass, newer tarmac, new surfaces on the tarmac. Yeah, I understand that, Elt, and I have no problem with them having added a road in this area to the map. <laughs> uh, I just expected it to look better, I guess. I'm finally running out of gas. I can't wait for that to happen for once. <laughs> Yeah, but that's kind of what they did with uh, Germany as well, else. 
And still Germany looked absolutely stunning. And this road? Ah! Not that much. I was... I, I guess I'm spoiled with the uh, Sardinia and the German updates. If we had started here in France, I, I would probably have uh, looked differently at it and I would probably have had a lot nicer things to say about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've, I'm with you there, Potter. I thought so too. Is that true? I didn't know that, Elt. Estesac. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, don't get me wrong, Elt, I'm really happy they did this, but again, I, I, I kind of expected more. That was quick, Mike, welcome back. I don't really I don't know what I think of, <laughs> of this road I I I expected more uh, had we started here instead of in Sardinia if we had done this road first I would have been I would probably have been a lot more positive about it Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree, Peter. Let's have a look at the map again. See, yeah, we're almost at the end of the... Well, what is it then? Updated or refurbished or remade, added new road, whatever. Um, I'm going to recommend anyone who want to try out the new uh, version of the game to do this road first and then do Germany and then do um, Sardinia, not the other way around. Well, uh, Elt, you never, you never said what. Oh, I guess the thing you wanted to inform me about was the project that you are working on the project. You didn't have any questions regarding it. <laughs> well, good luck on your A tractor project, there, Elt. Uh, nice having you here, as always. So um, take care and have a great Saturday and weekend.
Now all I want to do is run out of gas. How difficult can that possibly be? Come on. Let me run out of gas. And that was the end of the new road. Uh, because finally, uh, Barty, we are able to call for gas. Uh, I'm going to show you, if you press the F7 button, you get this menu and then you press enter. And here you have it emergency refueling so you don't have to be towed to a service station uh, to get more fuel you can just ask for f fuel so i want to run out of fuel and see how that works yeah it's something i <laughs> i really wish they had uh, when i did my halter for kuta i think we ran out of gas like five times <laughs> because the horrible, horrible Volvo, what was it, the F-16, uh, ran out of gas so quickly. <laughs> yeah, Kalia, I totally agree with you on that. That, that would possibly um, excuse the um, road a little bit more. That is new, isn't it? I think it is. So I'm not uh, deliberately speeding here, I'm just trying to run out of fuel uh, a little quicker. You're preparing for a family event, Mike? Are we invited? <laughs> Almost out of fuel. You're baking. That's nice. I wish I knew how to bake. I can't. I'm, a, I'm horrible in the kitchen. So what's the uh, occasion then? Someone's birth birthday, Mike? Or is it uh, your and your wife's anniversary, perhaps? <laughs> if I was forced to live on cakes I baked myself for the rest of my life, I would starve to death. Oh, confirmation! Congratulations! One of your daughters and one of your sons have a confirmation, so uh, they are twins? I did that too when I was 15, uh, only to get the money, of course. <laughs> I 
Nice, Mike. That's nice. Uh, yeah, confirmation is not the sweet is <laughs> Swedish. It's not the English word for it. Um, it is. Uh, God, what is it called? Uh, can't remember the English word for it. That's a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of cakes. Nope, not enrollment. I'm only speeding to run out of gas. That's the only reason I'm speeding, guys. Um, yeah, uh, is it baptizing? Is that the word for it? Now we're finally out of fuel. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, I was trying to run out of run out of gas. Now we're going to call for emergency refueling. Let's see how that works. Emergency refueling service will provide 50 liters only. Oh, it will cost 381 euros. So it's a little bit expensive and it will take 30 minutes, which is a lot better than waiting for uh, four hours and 43 minutes to be towed back to Metz costing almost 10 times as much uh, so that's good and as you can see we are still really really low on fuel um, but it should be enough to get us to the closest gas station So now we know how that works. <laughs> well, I guess that was included in the 380 euros. I sure hope it was. <laughs> and it was 199. <laughs> We have been streaming for like uh, three and a half hours <laughs> regarding what's new <laughs> and we're about to close the session for the day and now you ask what's new. Um, news, major big news is we have uh, DirectX 11 uh, kind of working. And Tassas as well, welcome. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Welcome back, brother. Uh, so we have DirectX 11. Uh, other big news uh, has got to be uh, the um, new roads, uh, especially this part here, Sardinia. Uh, we've been hauling through some of it, but almost all of this here are new roads. Um, or was, we have been hauling on some of it now. Uh, so that's the other big news. Uh, other news, we have new trailers, some new cargo, no new trucks yet. Okay, confirmation, that's... Is, is it called confirmation? Oh, never mind. Uh, your uh, Christian uh, again sort of at the age of 15 or so um, anyway anyway um,
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's what I would call it too, Mike. A tradition. <laughs> Definitely a tradition more than a something a 15-year-old do out of religion for religious religious reasons uh, anyway uh, I'm gonna park it there because I think we have gone through all the news by now uh, so uh, I think it's time to end the stream for the day. Uh, best news for ETS so far? Definitely Sardinia. Uh, of course, for Mike and many of us, the others here, uh, the uh, refresh of Germany, very important. And where is it? There's the road in France. A little bit disappointing <laughs> after seeing what they did to Sardinia and Germany. Uh, but it's an update as well. Um, have the news here regarding uh, emergency refueling and adjustments of trailers. Uh, and of course the new settings for the uh, trucks. Uh, there it is, isn't it? No, it wasn't. It's under gameplay. Uh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Truck stability, trailer stability, suspension stiffness, and a lot of other great news uh, on this version. Not as many news on this one as on ATS if I'm going to be honest. But still, a lot of great news here as well. And a lot of troubles for us who have done the update to 135. If you want to do this yourself, you do it at your own risk. I do not recommend it. No one at SCS recommends it. And if you still want to do it, don't use your main profile if you uh, aren't willing to risk losing that profile forever. Um, but I am willing to do that, uh, and I'm not disappointed. Uh, more in-cab controls would be nice, absolutely. Uh, the truck stability, I find that to be one of the most exciting features. <laughs> Having uh, four-point cab uh, suspension uh, makes things a lot more interesting. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it. We are done for the day. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And um, I'll try to start looking at updating maps, uh, keeping you posted on what maps works for 135. Uh, I won't be doing any more map combos for 134. Um, at least not right now. I want to stay on 135 as long as I possibly can. And uh, try to make some interesting stuff using 135. Um, but map combo is going to be a little bit difficult. But I'm going to go through the different map mods that we use on map combos and try to keep you posted on, on what the status are. Um, and see if we can make something that works together with 135. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care everyone. Have a nice weekend everyone and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks Mike. <laughs> it's one of my Scanias. Uh, using the default whatever is built into the game. Kalia, um, go away. <laughs> thanks Bert thank you everyone take care bye bye <laughs>